morning, everyone. Uh, it's Dave Warner here. I want to do a quick demo of a website called Thesaurus Land. Um, so what it is, is is a thesaurus, and you type a word in here, and you press return, and uh, it gives you the synonyms um, for that word. So here, goodbye. And it's a little scrolled off the bottom of the screen here. I'm not sure you can see it. Anyway, um, and so here's another cool thing that you can do is, um, let's get fun back up here, is that you can put your cursor on any one of the words underneath it and then double click that and it gives you the synonyms underneath that word. And you can, you can keep going for a long time. <laughs> I don't know. I was going to say forever, but software doesn't really work that way. There will be a point where you can't do it. And another thing you can do is just um, type uh, a word in here like that and then double click on that. So you don't even have to go up here at all. You can just... And so what is this is good for is like you're trying to come up with a well, it's obviously good for things thesauruses are good for. You're just searching for the perfect word, and you just type the concept in, um, and then open it up, and it gives you a lot of different synonyms for it, right? That's thesaurus. It's also really good for naming things. This is like how I name products, and so I just um, type in some of the words that I want to, the name to convey, um, innovative, fun, oh, fun's up there, and then, um, and then I start my search from there, and I look for words that may be more sort of, um, I don't know, a more durable, <laughs> more inspiring, uh, more honestly, uh, the beginning. I mean, it's the beginnings of trademarks. It just gives you ideas, and it's a way to get your mind to relax. So, okay, and that's just good for naming things. You know, thesauruses have, you know, in general, it's fun. I like, I, I love traveling around the English language. So another thing you can do is add the word onto, and you can see I've done this for a few, like bigly and useful. I wanted to see if we actually don't think it actually came up. Well, let's try it. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Oh, Bigley is, well, there you have it. Bigley is in the thesaurus. Um, and so this way you can, uh, sometimes if I have a word, actually the reason prescient was here was because I was using the word in one of my blog posts and I wanted to um, see if there were other words that might fit better. And uh, I, ended, I think I ended up using prescient. Um, and when I do that, I usually link the word in the post to the thesaurus land uh, definition of it, or you know, synonyms for it, just to, I don't know, to get a plug in there. For, I think it's a lovely piece of software, and I think more people should use it. So um, anyway, um, that's about it. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.